Welcome back, everyone, to Talking It Out with Mike and Brian. Today is a very special day. Father's Day is coming up on Sunday, so we had to do a little Father's Day special for you all. So today we're super excited to talk to a fan favorite, father of our former bachelorette and current co-host. We have Desmond Adams, a.k.a. Tasha's dad in the house, and he's talking to us about family, watching his daughter on TV, and of course, giving some dad advice. Plus, we love our listeners, so we had to ask Desmond, what do dads want for Father's Day? He gave us a lowdown. Oh, yeah. And I love the fact that we really we rarely hear from dads of bachelorettes on the show. I know my father-in-law, he's like, the judge is low-key, right? Yeah. But, I, you know, we hear from a lot of moms in Bachelor Nation, but I feel like we don't hear enough from the fathers. So we, on this Father's Day special, I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to hear from a dad. I agree with you, man. A dad, dads need love, too. <laughs> Can we hashtag dads need love as well? I remember asking my dad about uh, if I went to hometowns. Uh, he was like, nope, I ain't going on TV. Don't put me on. <laughs> he was like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> He's like, uh, your father-in-law. He's very, very low-key. Uh, yeah, I I just, I just, dad, I'm, I may, I may, I may bring somebody home. I'm just letting you know right now. <laughs> yeah, just, I may, I may. <laughs> just be ready. Just be ready. Um, but yeah, man, I, I'm actually really looking forward to talking to him and, uh, you know, hopefully getting a little tea and, and getting deeper inside to the whole, uh, behind the scenes of the of her bachelor season absolutely i want to hear all of his thoughts his thoughts on zach his thoughts on colton uh his thoughts on his daughter dating 30 guys at once how does that feel being a pops yeah. Let's and just... definitely and definitely giving us advice because hey in the future near future maybe you know we're going to be having kids and we need to know we need to know how to handle that type of stress because your daughter dating 30 men that's that's that bro, must be stressful on a dad bro i got <laughs> Hopefully, I got 30 years <laughs> plus before I have to worry about that. Oh, God, I can't even think about it. Uh, but, and you will be having a, a child before me, for the record. Put it out there in the, in the universe. It ain't happening. Well, I hope first. so. I hope yeah. so. We got we got to find you the lady first. Exactly. We got to do that first. We got to do that. But first, most importantly, are you ready for Mr. Adams? I'm ready for the man himself. How about you? Let's bring him on, man. Let's, 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 let's do some dad talk. Dad talk. Let's go. Desmond Adams, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, you guys. Appreciate it's, you guys having me here. No, Appreciate thank it. you for being no here. Problem. Thank yes. you. Yes, thank you for taking the time. All right, no problem. Anytime. You guys are family. The whole, the whole, the whole crew, the whole network is family. At this point. <laughs> the whole network. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a huge know. barbecue party at your house. Oh yeah. <laughs> there you go. Anytime. The whole network. So, Desmond, for those, for whatever reason who don't know, they should know, you are a beautiful father of four. Uh, the daughter that we all know is Tasha Adams. Uh, like, you have a pretty big family, pretty beautiful wife, beautiful children. Like, how'd you get so lucky, man? I'm trying to be like you one day. <laughs> oh, man. It's a standard you know, right there. <laughs> it is. First off, first off, it's all just, it's all a blessing. You know, yes. I, I probably couldn't even dream this or, or wished it up. Right. Cause you never know how it all turns out, but yeah, man, you know, met the wife when I was 16 years old, 16, 16, man, 16. Wow. And then, so we've just been going since then. And, wow. you know, it, it's just, it's been a blessing, you know, it's just our first. And so. So I'm always, always interested in like love stories. Like what, like how did, so I guess that was like a high school puppy love start. And then it just oh. developed into more. Like, when did you know, like, this is long term? Man, well, actually, I knew pretty much from the beginning. Um, That's amazing. I'll, I'll, I'll get right to it because my wife is older than me. She's two years older than me. Ah, really? So, you know, she was, <laughs> the way I like to say it, you know, she was rocking the cradle a little bit. <laughs> but, but all of my friends, too, they're like, you know, so she graduated before me. And I was like, man, man, you guys, I'm taking a college, college girl. You know what I mean? <laughs> so my girlfriend's in college. And then it just, you know, it just all started from there. She would roll up and come and get me. And I'd be like, deuces later, guys. They're like, oh, you know? I, so, feel like, I feel like it was the opposite. Like, I remember in high school, all the girls would date the older guys. And yeah, like exactly us high school was. guys, like we didn't have a chance because she was dating an older guy. So we were always like upset yep. about it. But you did it the other way. Brian, yeah, you can't hey, tell? Uh, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't tell? Look at, look at Desmond, man. 
<laughs> Desmond is AKA the for Denzel Washington, bro. Look at oh. him. Hey, hey, I appreciate that. I like that. <laughs> All right, Desmond. So as you know, Father's Day is coming up. So yeah. for that occasion, we have a little surprise for you. Really? Yes, really? sir. Okay. Okay. Listen to I me. I love surprises, man. <laughs> You're allowed to be here, but you can't get crazy. You understand, Dad? Look oh. who it is. <laughs> Taisha. Taisha. Oh, my little baby. <laughs> Listen to oh. me. I heard you were coming on here and I couldn't I couldn't just let you do this on your own. I had to check in with you, make sure you're gonna behave. Make okay, sure. number one. You don't, you don't be. These guys okay. are amazing, you're but right. of course lucky, you are. I was gonna wear my Tupac shirt, but you know. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, I didn't want to go out like that or get first started, you know, first be, <laughs> you know, get, you know, these guys. So I got first foot first, you know. I okay. Uh, you're 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 in line. I'm proud. You should have okay, worn <laughs> Well, take care of See, my dad. My I'm in the middle time. of uh, doing a fitting for my clothing line, so I gotta go. But I just wanted to make sure you guys were all good. Oh, oh, we, we got yeah, you. We got you, Taisha. Yeah. We'll hey, Taisha, I'm, gonna, tea. I'm, Listen, I'm gonna let behave. him know. I'm gonna dad? let him know since, dad? since little baby, first little step. Oh I want I want to know Taisha in high school. <laughs> yeah, we want we want all the embarrassing stories. We want it all. Listen, hey, I got, you, you guys, if I got you pictures. Show I got them pictures. pictures. If, if, if we got time, I got pictures. We, 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 need, we need the awkward we stage the pictures. We, we need, need those. Yeah. I need he to has plenty of them, braces, and you're not allowed to bring it. them out. <laughs> <laughs> he has plenty of them, you're not allowed to bring them out. <laughs> Bye, Tasha. <laughs> okay, guys, have fun. Bye, Dad. Happy Father's Day. I just wanted to check in. Take care of my Thank pops, you, boys. We'll do. Take care, Tasha. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. We get in the tea, by the way. <laughs> so, Desmond, Taisha was your firstborn. Speaking of, she just uh, graced us with her presence. Can you just take us back and, like, what was it like being a dad for the first time? Oh, man. It was just, it, it's, it's crazy. You know, obviously, it was new. Um, there's no playbook for that. And I was, I was young, and so I really didn't know what to expect. But, you know, for me, How old were you? it was always like, I'm going to manage it. I'm going to. I'm going to work this out. You know, I think I, I can do it on the fly. Now that little girl, right from the get go, she was uh, in control. You know, you know, when we thought like, okay, let's put her down. She would lay down and, and just do all sorts of things. And so my wife had to really step in and became mom really quick, you know, and, and, and she did a wonderful job with that. But as far as me being a father, you know, I think I was overprotective at that point, even at, at a little baby because is she sleeping the right way? Is she doing this? Are we feeding her? We're trying to, you know, start thinking about all organic, even back in those days, right? So uh, it was just, a, it was, it was an experience, man. How old were you when you first had Taisha? I was seven, 18. 18. Oh, wow. Nice. nice. Yeah. Sometimes in going back, I wish that I could have had a child at an earlier age. And how, yeah. well, what is the difference between Taisha and your youngest, your fourth? But my youngest, Bryce, he's 15. Okay. So there's so there's about 15 years in between. Nice, nice, nice. And yeah. so what is it? What was that difference like? You said with Tasha, and your your first, you were very hands on, over overprotective. What? How was it with Bryce? Um. Well, with well with Tasha, obviously her being a girl, you know, your daddy protective mode. It's your first one. You really don't know what to do because you're so you're learning on the fly. And, and then, so, um, I was really overcautious and I could see that that really worked out still with Bryce being, a, he's our second boy. And so, um, he's a little bit more relaxed. I can see how our older, our oldest son turned out. And so you could be a little bit more relaxed, um, be a little bit more playful. Things are rough. You don't need to get them the first new Jordans that come out, right? Because you grow out of those real quick and, and so on and so forth. But as far as with Bryce, it, it, things were more relaxed, a little bit more calm. Yeah, I feel like, you know, once your first kid, like you were saying, you're so overprotective, you're so cautious. And then, you know, as, as, as you keep on having more kids, it's like you get more and more lax as the time yeah. goes. And it's like, ah, yeah. he's right. Oh, he bumped his head. Like maybe initially you're like, oh my God, with Tasha, you're like rubbing her wound and like taking oh, care yeah. of her so, so uh, attentively. And then the other kid's like, oh, he bumped his head. Go put some Band-Aid on it. Go put yep. some Neosporin on it. You're good. Yeah. Used to get up and make sure she was still breathing at night and doing all that stuff, you know? 
But then by the time Bryce met, oh, he'll sleep through it. Earthquake, whatever. <laughs> it's all good. He's all good. It's like you got so, the playbook already. Yeah, you, right. you had mentioned exactly. actually not having a playbook earlier. What has been the best advice as a father that you've received from other dads? Oh, man. I think it's 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 being patient. Mm. Be patient. Try to be Ooh, understanding. Because and I'm still working on that. So, <laughs> but, you know, and Myself. that just never goes away. You never are patient enough. But it, it's so true. Because as a father, you want to just step in and try to correct things right from the get-go. You want things... Obviously, we all want the best for our family, and especially for your children. So um, stepping in is, is almost human nature, if you will. But you got to just be patient. Let them figure and work things out. Um, it's so much easier just, said than done. Yeah. 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 It's so much easier said than done. You know, like, it, it's, it's crazy. But like, like I've always been interested in like parenting styles because like Mike and I don't have kids yet. We're definitely looking forward to it. Right, Mike? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So I guess for me, it's like you have these children. It's like your job is to raise them into productive, healthy, you know, uh, uh, stand up citizen adults. But you're not with them all the time. Right. Like they're going to go out and make their own mistakes and, you know, do things that you're not a part of. So it's like, how does it feel you know, kind of like when you let your kids off onto the world, like the fact that, you know, listen, they're going to do their own thing. You just hope for the best, right? Because you're not with them all the time. And that's like, I feel like I'm going to just teach my kids right from wrong and, you know, tell them, you know, hopefully they don't make any mistakes. I I guess I'm just like very cautious of that. How do you handle that as a dad? Like knowing that you can't control everything. That's right. You know, learning from mistakes, as you were saying, hopefully that they don't make mistakes. You almost got to um, make a few mistakes to learn from them. Yeah. At least Good learn point. from them. And that's, you know, I'm proof of that myself, you know, just always constantly learning and, and going from that. But, um, you know, our four kids are, are, are great. I don't know if, you know, you know, you guys know Tasha obviously, and then her older brother, uh, our oldest son, he's, you know, a federal officer works. And then Dominique, uh, uh, Tasha's sister, right? She's a pilot in the Navy. And then there's yes. Bryce. So um, to get back to what you're saying is just trying to be uh, uh, protective of them, but at the same time, let, let them learn on their own, but then also teach them right from wrong. And, and when they do make those mistakes, you got to be there to correct them. And, or sometimes you just step back and see how they handle them. Because yeah. uh, that's the only way they're really truly going to learn if they're invested in it, you know. Yeah. And, and good point. And understand. Good point. I, I, I always love asking parents this question here, and you kind of alluded to it when it comes to nature versus nurture, right? There's only so much that we could do as parents, and you know, you have you and your wife have four beautiful children. They're four different children, right? They're four right. completely different kids. Talk to me about your thoughts on nature versus nurture, how you feel that plays a role in society and growing children. Right. Well, nurture, uh, we'll start with, with that first. You know, when my wife and I have done, a, a, I would say, a decent job because there's times when you got to you gotta just know when they need comforting. They need that support. They need to be told everything's going to be okay. You know, so you got to be able to read their body language and just know them. You get to know them, obviously, from being a little baby growing up all the way through their teens and the young adulthood. But that that naturing or nurturing is um, it's just something that has to come from within. You got to be able to feel and know your family and kids, right? Me and my wife, we trade off. Okay, well, you talk to her about this. Or you talk to him about that and so <laughs> Good on. Good cop, bad cop. Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's true. And so they're going to probably hear or see this, and they're going to be putting it all together now. They're like, ah, oh, that's what they were doing, right? But I'm always this... using the bad cop at times just to kind of set the ground rules straight. But as far it. as um, nature goes, you know, that just goes back to them learning. Sometimes you got to get out there and just learn what the streets are like, right? You can't um, read it in a book, if you will. And so that's where times you just gotta let it happen. And and although you don't want anything bad or accidents Mm -hmm. to happen, as you were saying, but it's uh, sometimes it needs to happen a little bit, as long as it's not detrimental to their health or anybody else. 
Yeah, you gotta, like you said, you gotta let them experience life on their own. You yeah. know, I feel like sometimes maybe parents are too overbearing and like too involved and you know, that sometimes can cause like the children to like stray away or rebel if they're too, you know, yeah. uh, looked up upon too much. So, yeah. How are yeah. you guys as parents? Um, both of mine have passed. Uh, my, my, my wife's uh, father has passed, but her mom is still here. And so we just celebrated her birthday uh, two days ago. Happy and birthday. so my, yeah, yeah, yeah. Birthday, so, yes. so that, so that was good. But you know, I will say, I'll jump in and say that, um, you know, if Tasha or any of her brother or, or, or sister was crying in the store, we weren't having all that. You know, when them kids just so wilding out that. in the store, so ah, we ain't having that. No, they knew. <laughs> Dad had that look, and it was no. Okay, you lay down the discipline uh, from an yeah, early age. Yeah, just because I don't know. But you know, nowadays, man, you uh, yeah, you, you show any type of discipline, you know. Yeah, you got, yeah. You got, what was you your police out there? For you. What was like your move? Was it just like a stare? Like you just had to look at them? Like how did they know? Like okay, we need yeah. to calm down right now. <laughs> yeah. So it was this. It was the stare, and then uh, you know, and they just just getting closer to him. You know, but mm. it was a stare. A couple of times you got to, you know, give them a little pinch on, on the arm or the butt or something and maybe. That's, you're just giving me flashbacks. I remember I wasn't the best child. <laughs> I would get, my mom allowed the school to give me whoopings. I probably <laughs> probably get canceled for even saying that. Uh, yeah, uh, that's <laughs> definitely not happening now. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen now, but back then the school could literally give your child a whooping. It's so crazy to say that. I don't know how I would be as a parent in that regard. But Desmond, when your children were younger and they would stay with friends, how, like, what is your, what is you and your wife's rules when it comes to friends disciplining your child? Can they discipline your child? Do they put them in a timeout? How would I, like, I'm just truly curious. Yeah, no, no, with no, someone else. no, that's a good question. But honestly, we would prep them before they went anywhere. So yeah. we just didn't let, let them um, just go out and stay with anybody. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, sure. um, we were probably overprotective in that just because you hear horror stories, even nowadays, yeah. people just, I don't know what's going on with people, but anyways, um, <laughs> you know, we just, we, we really didn't let them, especially the girls. And so if they were at another girl's house, but it was very select people and some people got their feelings hurt because they're like, can Tasha come spend the night? No, <laughs> no, that's, that's I, I don't know you. You haven't been to my house. I haven't sat down with you, your husband. So, there's a lot of times that Tisha missed out on some of those things in, in her sister too. But I think you guys did a great job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know, then on the opposite, we would hear, oh yeah, they can come over anytime. You know, they had great manners and they, you know, they said thank you and they were polite. And those are the things we wanted just to make sure you go to anybody else's house, be respectful, don't wild out and, and do anything that uh was it a little bit different with the boys? Were they allowed to you know, you know, do things I, maybe that the girls weren't. You know, I'm going to say that they're not, they're nothing like me, you guys. Man, I feel <laughs> sorry for my mom. Bro, <laughs> you guys, Mike, I, and I think you're saying it, it was a whole different thing. My mom used to, me and my mom used to get at it. I was on restriction. I used to get whoopings to come in the house. I would show up at 1030 and, at night and, and so on and so forth. But it's different for, for my kids, for my sons. They're, they're not really, I think they have more of their mom's side in it. You know, they're more laid back. They want mom's cooking. They want to eat at home. You know, they want to just chill and, and hang out. Now, obviously, it's not always going to be that way. But they weren't really um, like me, just out there. And I had to go hunt them down. So let's see where they're at. So they're more good. Like Hopefully my future kids uh, get my future wife's uh, demeanor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, From a child. They're going to take the best of, of, of everybody. No, yeah. Definitely so. And yeah, that's what you hope. That's for sure. So, Desmond, one, first and foremost, I want to say, uh, you know, I appreciate your, your daughter uh, for serving our country. Definitely thank you for that. Um, and then, two, what advice did you give Tasha when she went on The Bachelor for Colton Underwood season? <laughs> you guys, man, advice, I really didn't give her any advice. You guys got to see. So I'm going to give you a little background about this. So I didn't even know she was going on The Bachelor, technically. Until, yeah, 
So she she played it off real good. One <laughs> going to church. So so she prepped the whole scene. We we went to church, right? We just got out of church. And then Tasha has her ways. It all depends on her, her wording. She's like, daddy, daddy, daddy. And that means she, you know, something's going on. She needs something. And, you know, she has those different key words. But then right after church, standing outside, just like, dad, um, I got some people that are going to come pick me up. And I'm going to be gone for a couple of weeks. Oh my and oh my and, and you're not going to, you know, you're not going to be able to call me. You need to call someone. I was like, what? What, are you, what are you talking about? That just she raises a red flag. flag. I know. Like, yeah, you, know, I, you know, I trust her decisions first and foremost, especially at that age, right? But I think she knows how I feel about that type of stuff. You guys yeah. know how I feel. You can't microwave relationships. So, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. in hindsight of all that stuff. So, but she just told me, I'll be gone for a couple of weeks. No big deal. It's kind of like this, this TV thing. And I was like, okay, yeah, only for a couple of weeks. All right. But Little did I know, she already told my wife about the whole thing. And so, ah, <laughs> so did you have to get your the scoop from your wife on the back end? Yes, I oh, did. I that's did. messed up. Did. That's messed up. <laughs> Especially when Tasha was gone. I'm like, okay, it's been four weeks. We haven't heard from her. Where's she at? And then all of a sudden, like, okay, it's five weeks. Like, hold up. Hold up. I, wh- on, where's girl. that number? I need to call somebody <laughs> just to make sure she's good. Then the word got out, I guess because it's been five or six weeks. And then we heard from, from some of the producers and whatnot, she's good. And we were able to get a little, you know, back and forth chat through the secret lines, if you will. Yes. But um, as far as advice, she knows, I would have told them, you know, there's no kissing, there's none of that stuff that you guys know how that goes. Uh, <laughs> and Desmond, <laughs> compare and contrast, like when she, went on The Bachelor compared to when she was going to become The Bachelorette because Rachel, my wife, who was also a former Bachelorette, like I remember, you know, she always tells this story about like her family was like all for her going on The Bachelor. Like, yeah, it's a good opportunity, this and that. And then like when the tables are reversed and it's like, okay, now she's dating 30 men. It's like, "Eh, we're we're not all the way down with that now. But like, how did you, how can you compare and contrast the two? Well, you know, I didn't know anything about the show, to be honest. Mm. Zero. I didn't hear it. And then when they were telling me, yeah, it's, the, it's been running for 18, 15 years. And I was like, what? And so then I had to do my own little research and whatnot and, and see what that's like. But um, being on The Bachelor, I definitely would have told her, you mean dirt dating 30 guys? What's that all about? So that was tough, especially I'm always going to be there to support her and everything she does, right? So I was trying to sit down and watch it when she was on The Bachelor, but then all this kissing and stuff. I was like, no, I had to get up. I took like so many bathroom breaks. My wife and everybody would just laugh at me because I couldn't stand. Oh, man. You know, and then on on the next, you know, when, you know, and that's when she was, you know, you you know, at her prime, I guess, because it, it, for the Colton season, you know, it went to final hometown visits and all that good stuff. And then, on the bachelorette how that all turned out with zach which was great but um i just it it was hard just seeing her hanging out with uh everybody and you know doing those little romantic scenes if you will i i can only imagine i uh (laughs) i have a sister and i (laughs) almost cried one time when she brought home a boy so as a father i i can't even imagine uh you mentioned zach being great uh, what were your thoughts on uh, on Zach when you first met him? Um, genuine, good guy, humble. You know, uh, who you see is what you get, and, and yeah, that, that's what I, I really that. like. I feel that. You know, it's a lot of people, as you guys know, they used it for whatever promoting or whatever. You know, I think it was pretty new to Zach, if I recall <laughs> as well. Too, he wasn't really um, a follower of, for so many years or whatnot, and I think mm-hmm. it was new for him. But during our conversations, we had some good heart to hearts, even on our first talks. And so I was happy with them. I was really happy. And I'm still happy with it, that just how things are progressing with you. And Love that. it's nice. So Desmond, like, great guy. Desmond, obviously, you've had experience, you know, with Tasha and boyfriends in the past. Like with this show, were you able to able to pick up on 
you know, the BS radar, like, did you have your BS radar going? Like you, you could pretty much tell who was yeah. being genuine, who was just there for not the right reasons as everybody likes to say. Right. Yeah. Real quick. Uh, yes. Yes. It started yes without even a shadow when, man. even when, when, when she was on the bachelor, right. And everything else, I was like, okay. you know, you could see some of the girls and then just whatnot, but yes, that BS radar, when she was on the bachelorette, man, that was just crazy. I was like, nope, nope, nope. It almost made me just want to call her, you know, pull out the, pull <laughs> right. out the bat phone, right? Like give her and your, your I, top three list. Like you could go yeah, with these guys. Absolutely. I was this is what I'm saying like, right here. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the but, BS radar that uh, was going off for you when Taisha was on The Bachelor. What was that like? Yeah. What, tell me some of those thoughts. Um, I like the fact that she was, was not really getting into all the, uh, he said, she said type of deal, the little cattiness with the other girls and whatnot. And then I was like, yeah. there's no way those girls would really act like that, right? But then you had to just take a step back because you don't know what anybody else's upbringing is. It's kind of like what we were talking about, raising your children, right? Yeah. But um, once she made it home and all that other stuff and months down the road and talking to her, I'm like, is that person really like that? She's like, yeah. Uh, it was just amazing to see the different dynamics it is for some of the girls who are not necessarily the same age because there was a, I don't know, maybe five year age difference between all of them, if not more, but mm -hmm. it was just really amazing. And, and yeah, my, my BS radar was going off. It's like, there's no way. But Tasha yeah. was cool though. See, she did exactly. You got to kind of step back. If it's getting involved in gossip, there's nothing good that comes from it ever, ever. So, and that's what I told her too. Don't be part of it. To just to sit back and listen, shake your head, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, and then you just go from there. Well, you did, a, you guys did, a, you and your wife did a great job. Absolutely, uh, yeah, yeah. Appreciate what that. was the BS writer like when you guys had met Colton for Tasha? Man, <laughs> you know, you can you know, be honest. We went, yeah, well, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to just tell you guys, right? This is the podcast, so yeah. My, 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 my BS radars even went off, even when he was here, even when he was here. In what and what way? they'll all that? tell you, they should will tell you. It's just like, I like, there's just, no, you know, you I don't want to talk so bad about anybody, yeah. but, I, but just to be real, it's like, I was like, no, no there's something wrong here. There's yeah. something wrong here. Yeah. And I'll just leave it at that. Right. And then just, and she's like, well, dad, it's easy to say now after the fact, I was like, no. And then. I would tell her sister too. She's like, "Dad, you completely, totally called it," but I didn't want to tell Tasha during that time. Oh, I told fair. her brother, I told her sister, told my wife, and then, you know, I get that. Yeah, it's like a, a father's intuition. I mean, oh yeah, you know, my father-in-law, you know, to some other men, he was like, "Yeah, the ends don't match up." Like I just, from the get-go, mm -hmm. he just wasn't feeling the. Uh, you know, the connection not only between him and the other man, but between the other man and their daughter. So right. I totally, totally understand where you're coming from. Yeah. I'm glad you said that, Brian. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Desmond. No, no, it's, it's good. You're, you're, you're spot on, man. It's just, it's a trip. You could kind of, from a father's standpoint, you could pick up on some of those things. Plus, because I'm older too, right? And then, so being seasoned, then you start to look at some of these young men and whatnot. <laughs> you know, I had my own... Uh, Brian, I necessarily didn't see your your season too much, but Mike, I saw yours. And then, oh Lord! You know, I was like, oh, <laughs> look at this guy. So, <laughs> look but, but, but it all it, it, it all turned out though. It's it's good. You know, I'm happy for all of you guys and, and the success, the love. Yeah. That is going I I can't and, e I can't even imagine what it's like to be in your position because I mean. You know, you're you're a dad. You're you're from a, a, a younger, older generation. You're old school, right? Same yeah. thing with my uh, 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 family in law. Like they weren't used to this. Neither was my family. Like they weren't used to this. Yeah. Like you said, microwave relationships, and it's like this is not how things are supposed to work. So, right. I could only imagine the skepticism that you had going in. Like none of these guys are good enough for my daughter. This and that. Until obviously you got to know Zach. But right, right, right. And then you guys get to see all the behind the scenes stuff, right? Right. right? Yeah. The whole, yeah, the production. The all yeah. mic'd up. And then <laughs> you know, you got you got some of the producers and everybody helping you out and good old Amber and that great crew helping us through things. So, Shout out to Amber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it, it, it was awesome. It was a great experience though. So. 
I like that uh, you, you guys have both hit on father's intuition because we always hear a woman's intuition, right? Uh, but never really a father's intuition. I, I love that. And you said, you know, you had some, your BS radar was going off for back of little terms in, ter- in regards to Colton, but you didn't tell yeah. Tasha. Uh, you told the rest of the family. That's something I got to work on because me, yeah. I would be like, I'm telling you, this is X, Y, Z, yeah. right? So yeah. I, I, I'm learning from you in that regard. Well, you know, you didn't, I, I wanted just to make sure I was still supporting her all the way through. And then yeah. I started to get an understanding of like the timeline of things, right? It was still all so new to me. And so from them walking in here at the house to then when you actually see it on TV and whatnot, you know, there, there, there's some time. So, uh, but from the moment that they walked in here and I knew that they were still going off on other dates and then there's other women he was dating, I didn't want to, um, you know, put any bad vibes out there. I wanted to give her the best opportunity That's a good point. And, 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 and just make sure she knew we had 100% support she had our our support 100 percent. and then you know how people are man there are people hiding in the bushes taking pictures and and listening to you or whatever oh you, you got, got a little glimpse right? of the of the paps did you <laughs> yeah man it was oh, crazy yeah. people calling and showing up and knocking on the door I'm like what do you want oh Tisha. <laughs> man you guys keep it moving bye. keep it yeah, moving bye. yeah so, i love that love it yeah well, what is i i find the bachelor and the bachelorette as a lead I look at it from a positive way because as Tasha being the bachelorette, she's dating 30 guys or let's say 22 guys to be more fair. Right. But when you are not on TV in this dating age, a lot of people date more than one person until they narrow it down and they become exclusive. So mm-hmm. I personally like the show because you kind of in a way get to see your competition. Right. Did you, did you, right. did you, Tasha, you ever talk about it from that angle and, and just, mm-hmm. you know, I, as a father, of course, you don't want your daughter being one of 30 women. But as yeah. a lead, she can kind of narrow it down and she has full control. Well, um, I was trusting in her, uh, you know, the way we brought her up. You know, I taught her just to recognize, pay attention to signs, to people, capitalize on er- when you got the opportunity, you move on it. Yeah. Uh, don't be complacent, man, because as you know, right, things revolve quickly. And so she, 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 she caught on well of being young. She is um, a go-getter. So once she, once she's focused on something, she knows, boom, she goes, gets it. And that's just what I love about both my girls. You know, they, 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 do that. they, um, they understand what, what, what they need to do and what they need to take care of. And, but at the same t- point, it's always better to listen and to watch to see what's going on. So that way you can learn from it. Um, and then, and then to, to, to see her competition, sometimes, you know, that just handies up your game, right? You might make you better. <laughs> Look at right? him. Look at him. <laughs> because you got to, you know, you're not always the best out there. And so you got to just true. know, you got to know when to, to, you got, a lot of people don't really sit back and, and read the room or, or, or see what's going on. Just try to go in with blinders on and got you. Very to true. It. Would That's you been- allow any of your other children to go on the show? Oh man, truth be told, man, they were already talking about my youngest one, Bryce, Bryce. when we were there. <laughs> Teacher Bachelor. You know, and, yeah, yeah. When it was on the Bachelorette, and then, you know, um, shout out to Amber and Chris and all those guys. All those guys were saying, yeah, Bryce, Bryce for, for, bachelor. for Bachelor, whatever it was going to be, Bachelor, <laughs> like, 42 or whatever number <laughs> he like got a little taste of it he's like you know what i could get used to this <laughs> yeah 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 bryce for bachelor so it, it was cool so you never know but honestly looking at you guys you guys are some great young men so um i wouldn't mind you know hanging out with, with you guys and i just wish more more guys would like that you know what i mean but yeah. it's not that way today's day and time it's crazy but um, it's that experience too. I'm sure you guys learned some things from it and you grew from it and, and it makes you a better, whether fathers to be boyfriends and husbands to be and whatnot. But, um, I wouldn't be opposed to Bryce showing up there being a bachelor. Bryce, yeah, you my heard other son first. Is already engaged. My other son's okay. already engaged and nice. his wedding's coming up soon in, in October. Nice. Congrats. Congratulations to him. Absolutely. Um, Desmond, like one of the, like you just mentioned, like what you learn, what, you know, what you can learn from the show and 
one of the things, one of the big takeaways that I took, I, I'm Mike, I'm sure you did as well, was like the vulnerability aspect mm. of having to wear your emotions on your sleeve during the show. And, you know, in the, on this show, a lot of people, you know, they let stuff out that maybe they couldn't before, you know, and mm -hmm. it, 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 it changes the relationship with them and their family and with their friends and their loved ones. Like, did the, how did the relationship change, if at all, like once Tasha went through this experience and, you know, had to go through all that vulnerability, you know, to express her feelings to these, to Colton and then to all these other men? Like, did that change the dynamic in any way between you and uh her? Uh, well, not, it did change it between, you know, her and I, um, I was really surprised to see her open up so much, you know, mm -hmm. and we really saw that when it was, you know, yeah. with her and Zach, you know, my, 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 my wife and I said, we noticed the point where she fell in love on TV. Right. And so we, we saw her from what it does for me visually, you can see the baby Tasha come out. Right. Cause when you're so young, all that innocence is just out there and it's just oozing out and just you're, you're being genuine, being a kid, let them be. And yeah. she was really just oozing out with that innocence and just being vulnerable and just, you know, as a kid, you know, just taking it as it comes. You say the sky's green. Okay. It's green. And, yeah. you know, just vulnerable. So it was great. It was a great experience to, to see it, um, see her be more human, if you will, too. I can only, uh, envision myself as a parent being so happy for my child uh, when they are showing strength through vulnerability in front of tens of millions of people. So shout out to you, shout out to your wife, shout out to your daughter uh, for being able to do that. How does it feel now that seeing your, your daughter live out her dreams? I mean, she's on a cover of magazines, she's in Marie Claire, she's everywhere. Like, this is absolutely phenomenal. How, how does it, she's hosting the show this season. She's literally just doing everything like how does that feel from a parent's perspective do you get bragging rights at the family cookout <laughs> yeah yeah you know it, 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 it's so good it, it's great you guys it's i knew she was going to be somebody ever since she was you know somebody this is her this is Taysa. Mm -hmm. even when she was very little you know she would just roll around and and i even think i remember in her high school yearbook or something they're like the most the person to most succeed to be on tv or something and all the girls but Tasha, right? Mm. And so that was always been her personality and whatnot. But to see it really come to life and manifest into where it's at and just thinking of the possibilities, you guys, it's just unimaginable. I'm so proud of her. You know, she, it's, I can tell you now from a dad, it, you guys got to, you guys got to um, really just dream it and, and let, let them know you can do it. You can get there mm -hmm. to, to stay positive. And it's um, it's really just unexpected. I have so many. I even got people from work. You know, I was telling I was telling my wife that sometimes they know more about Tasha and where she's at than I do. I'm like, oh, what the heck is going on? You know, like we saw her Instagram story, we saw yeah. her posts. Like we know all about it. Yeah, you like Tasha? Where you at? Somebody just yeah, said exactly. <laughs> you know, she's. You know, I have people from work showing me pictures of of her of her picture on the side of the, you know, buildings in New York and what all this other good stuff. Like, where'd you get that? <laughs> where'd you get that? <laughs> Listen, my, my, my mom tells me all this. She's like, yeah, I know, I know what you're doing. Like I keep up with you. Like that's how, I mean, we talk regularly, but for the most part, she's looking on Instagram and, and mm -hmm. IG mm -hmm. stories just to see, okay, okay. He's good. He's safe. And he's doing his thing. That's right. Is that, is that you? Or you just kind of let her, you know, let you oh, know well, what's up. Truth be told, you guys, I am tech savvy, but I choose not to get on to all that social media stuff. And then I, I, and then I do it for, for them. You know, I just, you know, for certain things for my for my daughter in the Navy, you know, she's across the country and doing her thing. So we do it for that and whatnot. For me, I do it for all the right reasons, I guess you would say, but I'm not trying to necessarily follow anybody and, you know, and, and really see what, 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 what's going on with you know this person that person and so on and so forth so i just lay low with that and let my wife do certain things <laughs> so i let the wife yeah. handle that she can handle it <laughs> she'll she'll yeah. she'll she'll keep me filled in yeah, yeah, let, let the wife take care of that 
So you're saying like some of your coworkers will say things about Tasha and like this is where she's at, you know, she's doing this. Did you see this yet, Desmond? Can you tell us something about Tasha? Of course, embarrassing that only <laughs> you as a father or a parent would know. Oh man. Well, if I told you, then everybody would know, right? I mean, yeah, so, you know, it's just us. They, they gotta subscribe share, first. Uh, you know, <laughs> but I'll share a thing or two. You know, she has a sweet tooth. That little girl, man, she could eat <laughs> some candy, you guys. And it was always from when she was a little girl, man. You find candy wrappers under her pillow and whatnot. Hey, she put that candy. I know little daddy. But uh, yeah, so she so, definitely ha ha has a sweet tooth. So Halloween and, was her biggest. Uh, was her favorite holiday, wasn't it? Oh man, like no other. <laughs> Seriously, Dad, can you hurry up and go through the candy after trick or treating and stuff? And then she'd be out there bargaining with, with her brother and sister for candy. <laughs> that's she, she got. That's that little entrepreneur off. in her, right? <laughs> yeah. And then you know, uh, even though she's a go getter, you guys know it. She she really has a big heart. She is she really does. really compassionate. She wants to make. She wants to keep. She wants to make everybody happy. She really does. She, even she though does. at times she can seem like. Yo, you got to slow down or whatever. She gets caught up, but when it's all said and done, you pull it back. She has a big heart. She she really wants. She wants to uh, make sure everybody's comfortable and happy around. Her. That that yeah. is that is true. And Desmond, um, obviously, we're talking about children. Like I said, Mike and I don't have any yet. I'm probably the closest to it, just because I'm married. Gonna I have say it ain't me. I gotta get married first. <laughs> we're thinking of having <laughs> kids soon, so you know, for me looking forward, what would you, what's your best fatherly advice for, you know, somebody in my position? Um, you know, in, in your position, just be open to what can happen, you know, kind of like we already talked about mistakes are going to happen. Yeah. Just learn from them. Um, raising a kid nowadays is a, it's a, it's a lot different too, because you got to really be on top of them. You can't let them just go outside and play and know that they could come back. They don't really do like what I used to do, be out in the streets, play right. football, baseball or whatever, yeah. breaking windows on accident, right? And so they don't necessarily really have that child neighborhood. But as far as advice, man, um, just, just just learn from it and just be supportive, uh, be chill, let them do their thing, if you will. Um, you know, uh, kind of, it, for me, it was tough because we really didn't have the best neighborhoods and around. So it yeah. was a struggle to make sure that they were in and, and give them the proper education. I'm sure you guys will do that anyways, but you just got to make that sacrifice. So there's going to be a lot of times you got to make that sacrifice, mm -hmm. you know, um, and, I, and I'm sure you're going to do that as well. And just uh, be patient, man. Be patient. Patience is the word. Patience it, is key. It's, it's easier said than done. Like I yeah. said, I'm still working on it. My, my my wife will tell you, you know, nah, you need, to, nah. You, need that. you need to drink a cup of patience. You need to drink a cup of patience. Well, Desmond, we love having you on. And like, I think we should, I want to hear from you, something for all of our listeners to do and give back to their fathers as well. What does Desmond and other fathers out there want for Father's Day besides a damn tie? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm a... I'm a DIY do it yourself type of dude. Okay. I'm a, you know, I used to ask for, for Father's Day and Christmas, Home Depot gift card and whatnot. Seriously. Mm, okay. But my wife, I you know, like simple that. man. That's what I actually like that. myself too. Man. Yeah. Good. Hey, hey I'll, I'll tell you, I tell Tasha, if your boyfriend doesn't have a tool bag, he ain't no man. That's, <laughs> oh. that's just me. You got to have a tool bag to have him be a man. Right, I, uh, that's funny. You know, so that's I said what I said. what I said. You know, but <laughs> it, it, it's true because, you know, there's just something you got to handle yourself. You got to, you, you know, something starts leaking and breaking in the middle of the night. You couldn't pay four or five hundred dollars trying to have some plumber. You know what I mean? Nah. So I'm taking care said, of business. Nah. I'm gonna I'm go dust off my tools real quick. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Hey, oh, Brian, but, Desmond became a different man with that question. He was like, "Nah, we doing this ourselves. We take care of it." <laughs> Yeah, he put it, on the it, Tupac shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. You know, it, it was funny because my wife wind up going to Home Depot, and they're like, "Yeah, I gotta buy a ladder." They helped her strap the ladder on top of the car and everything. That was my Christmas present, man. That's what nice. I wanted was a ladder, nice. fiberglass, all this stuff. But but anyway, <laughs> you know, fatherly advice. You just you know, just uh, what I would like for Christmas again. Can never go wrong with those Home Depot gift cards, <laughs> and then. Um, 
you know, just spending time, you know, that time getting out there and spending time with your family, as you guys know, don't, don't put it off and say, Oh, we'll do that next week or tomorrow or next yes, month. Yes, yes. It grows so quick. Yeah. It grows yeah. so quick. So, so spend that time, spend that time, you guys, if you haven't just make sure you make time. And we, we hear that often. But you usually hear that from older people, right? To just saying, yeah. make time and, and make sure. So, you guys got some some insight. Just do it. Make, make, make time for the kids. We appreciate Absolutely. that, Desmond. Thank you for that. Yeah. But Desmond, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Uh, we truly appreciate you here today and talking it out. You, we didn't get into too much tea, so Tasha will be okay. <laughs> You're not gonna be in trouble, Desmond. Promise. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Hey, you guys, put it this way. Let's do this. If you guys ever want some more insight, right? Just, Gotta go hey, hit up hit that barbecue. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Get up the bat phone. You guys, you know, I, I would enjoy, you know, talking to you both again after you guys have some kids. And, and let's run this back, you know, a couple of years from now and reflect back. And then we can uh, play back and say, well, Mike, like, you said this. Brian, you said like, that. Right? Desmond, you were right, man. You were right. Uh, <laughs> right? You had that yeah. fatherly advice back then. Yeah, Six and a half years, I better have two kids, hopefully. God willing. Yeah, yeah. man. It's And if not more. If yeah. not more. Well, that's just it's within fun. six and a half years. Oh, Wait, I mean, oh, okay. speaking I of, of kids, Mike, like we said, we have to find you the girl first. Yeah. What about a, what about for Mike the single man? Do you have any advice for Mike as a single man trying to search for his queen out there? What do you say to that? Uh, well, you know, I already know Mike got some good probably selection. So, um, you know, he's, <laughs> he he got all his teeth. He has a good job. He has all his teeth. You say, you know. <laughs> You know, but uh, he he's in a good position. He's, he's in got a good things position. going for him. I, yeah, yeah. I I I I know he gets the the pick, but definitely listen to uh, your parents, if you will, Mike. If they're both around, uh, hopefully, yes. Uh, hopefully, I didn't miss on that. But if oh, you yes. do, li so listen to them, and just, I mean, just listen to your heart because you know there's going to be some ups and downs, and 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 there's going to be some challenges in every marriage. I promise you guys that. But that's, but that's how you learn too, right? Yeah, very and true. So there's going to be challenges in those relationships, but 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 do it, Mike. You know, do your thing, man. Uh, I tried on Bachelor in Paradise. That's where I met your daughter, and you know, I got sent home on Paradise. <laughs> I got all my teeth, but it ain't good enough. <laughs> hey, man, one door closes, another one opens. Oh yeah, real deal, real there deal. That's for there sure. But I'm confident gonna... he's a smart dude. You guys, Mike, Mike is yeah. going to be good. He's going to do all right for himself. <laughs> yeah. All right, Desmond. Well, we appreciate you so much for coming on. Thank you for the time and uh, exactly. just sharing your insight exactly. on fatherhood, uh, Tasha's journey, and just everything in between. So we appreciate you. Yeah, That's yeah. Sweet. Hey, I look forward to keeping in contact with you guys anytime. Just like I said, if you need to know something, just hit me back and we'll do this. I look forward to that next barbecue. Yeah, right? All right. Hey, open <laughs> invitation, guys. So for everybody out there listening, Father's Day is coming up. Go to Home Depot. Go to Lowe's. Hey, listen. You heard it here first. But maybe they're not Home Depot, guys. I, like a gift card, you can never go wrong. Like I've never liked anybody like buying clothes for me or anything like no, that. No, you like, can nah. buy clothes is enough. No, yeah, unless, yeah. I, unless it's a specific thing that I told you, this is what I like. Exactly. I need, right. the si I need to tell you the size, everything. But I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I completely agree with Desmond. My, my grandma, she bought me a toolkit, and I love that thing. I use it all the time. You know, I'm Mr. Handyman. I love that. So I'm, I'm with I'm with Desmond completely on that one. Okay. Ah, uh, me. <laughs> I you know I, I don't mind paying a plumber two hundred dollars to to come through. <laughs> I, got, said, I got shit to do. I got shit to do. I don't have time for all that. Said, I mean, if it's a if it's a small job, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, dust off the toolkit, but. I mean, if it's no, like a, an invasive like, job, it's like, eh. Bro, I got I to tell you this right quick. So when I was like 18 years old, right, I uh, I needed brake pads. Never in my life have I fixed brake pads, ever. And it's just an innate thing came over me. And I was like, yo, I could do it my damn self. It took me 10 hours, but I oh, fixed hell my no. brake pads. Hell but no. I had, I had to learn how to do <laughs> That's it. That's some I, patience, bro. I never even, like, had touched a brake pad before, but... I did it. It's so fun when you get to like work on your own stuff and just fix it. I, I love it. I'm with Desmond on that one, man. 
I hear you. I don't, like, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't trust myself as much. I feel like I would screw something up and I'd, I'd end up on the side of the road anyway, but, okay. but yeah, man, no, but he was, uh, he was great, man. I mean, just getting that fatherly advice, uh, hearing about his story with fatherhood, you know, and him raising four kids. I love that because I feel like every parent is the same where they talk about that first kid, you know, and it's like super hands on, you know, watching their every move. And then like by the fourth kid, they're like, eh, yeah, it's like we got, we got the playbook on that already. Like yeah. we don't have but to I, do all that. Yeah. It's like we're, we were doing too much for the first one. That's all good. They all four their kids came out great. Wow. Uh, but to all of our listeners, thank you for tuning into today's episode. Let us know what you feel. Let us know your thoughts on it. We'd love to hear you back. And you know, we always love to hear your opinions, your stories, and your insights. So please don't forget to like, comment, follow, message us on social media at Talking It Out BN on Instagram and at Batch Nation Pods on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, wherever you're listening right now. And Mike, give the last little message for the listeners out there. Like always, baby, you're beautiful as always. But don't DM me no more until you hit that subscribe. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Happy Father's Day. Enjoy. <laughs>